For this tutorial we're going to look at subroutines or subprograms in Turing. A sub subroutine or a subprogram, I'll add that here, is a program within your overall program. So it's a small program, normally smaller than your main program. It lets us reuse code using the name of the subroutine or the subprogram. And for this tutorial, we're going to focus on a special type of subroutine called a procedure. To start off, I'm actually going to create a program that doesn't use uh, subprograms or subroutines. So this program is just going to ask the user several times whether or not they're ready to continue. So imagine we had a program that paused through its execution a number of times and asked the user, are you ready to continue? So put the program is beginning. I'm not going to put in any of the, I'm not going to put in any of the context that I normally would. So the program is beginning and now I want to let the user, I'm going to pause here until the user is ready to continue. So I'm going to say loop and then I'm going to put, I'll just put in ready to continue question mark and I'll supply the user the answer I want them to give which is a Y or an N and then I will get ready and I will end loop. If I take a look at the way this is right now immediately you see that there are some things missing so I need to add those in. For example I need a variable called ready and it's going to be a string and then when I get ready then that's going to be my exit condition exit when ready equals and I'm just going to say when ready equals the letter Y and I'm actually going to put a lowercase Y here and a lowercase N here so if I were to uh, let's put the program is finished so if I were to run this very simple program the program is beginning. Are you ready to continue? If I say no, ready to continue, no, I can put anything I want here and when I say yes or I hit the letter Y it says the program is finished. So you could imagine probably a number of circumstances where you are you're waiting for the user, maybe you're waiting for the user to give you valid input or maybe you're pausing the program as I am here to see whether or not it's time to move on. Now imagine that I had a program where I did this several times and I'm going to simulate that by just copying and pasting. So I'm going to still running. So imagine we have a bunch of code here that um, let's just call this useful code. The program is beginning and then we have some more useful code that says the program is still running so you can imagine there's all sorts of things happening here in my program but I'm not bothering to include them now and then I could say ready to continue so now I have put two of these in and I say run ready to continue no 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 but as soon as I say yes the program is still running ready to continue no no I say yes now the program is finished and this could go on and on and on I could keep adding these segments about the uh, useful code and then me waiting for the user to be ready. Now there's another way I can do this which is, and that gets into the definition of, or one of the, not the definition, but one of the helpful things that a subroutine provides is the ability to reuse code. So the code that I want to reuse is this, basically this loop that checks to see if the user is ready to continue. So the way that I do that in Turing is that whenever I declare a subroutine it has to go above your main program. It has to be defined actually I'm going to put that back for now. I'm just going to copy it. It has to be defined before the main program. So I'm actually going to break up my code and I'm going to say main program. So I'm using comments to help me break up my code and then above my main program I'm going to put in sub uh, subprograms. So I'm going to declare a procedure, that's what we're using in this case, and my procedure is going to be called ready to continue. And for now you're just going to copy the form that I'm using here to create a procedure. 
So the procedure is ready to continue. And what does that procedure have in it? It has a loop and it has that text that we had and then end loop and then we end ready to continue. So, so far, and if I do proper indenting, see how the indenting works, beginning of the procedure, the end of the procedure, and then inside there is my loop. Everywhere that I have this loop in my code, I can now just make use of the command ready to continue. And there's another instance of it right here, ready to continue. And so in my main program, I put the program as beginning and then I ask ready to continue. And then the program from here, when the when the execution reaches this point, it jumps to this subprogram and then it executes the code in this subprogram. There's one thing that I haven't done. There's actually an error here. So I'm going to go ahead and run it and we get an error. Well, there's a couple of them, but both of them are related to this variable ready. The variable ready used to be in my main program. I need to declare that variable now in the sub program because that's where it's going to be used. So I put that into my sub program, just indent things, make them a little bit nicer. And so in my procedure ready to continue, I've got a variable called ready, and then I've got this loop that keeps checking if we're ready. And so now if I run this, it seems to be working, ready to continue. If I say no, 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 it's not going to continue. And then as soon as I say yes, it moves on to the next one. No, no, no. And if I say yes for the second time, the program is finished. So if we took take a look at this, what's happening when I run my code is that the program starts here, the main program. The first thing that happens is this program is beginning, gets put to the screen, then it calls the subprogram ready to continue, which means that my execution jumps up to here. The variable ready is declared, a loop starts, we go through the loop until ready is set to the letter Y, and then when that's done, we end the ready to continue subprogram, which means we come back down to this point. Sorry, you can't see that. So when the ready to continue exits, we end up here under ready to continue. And then we print out something else and we call ready to continue again. So that is a very simple introduction to uh, sub subroutines or subprograms. And there are many useful ways that you can do this. And I'm going to explore this further in future tutorials.